North Coast Times News, the best package of credible information about events and people from the North Coast parishes of St. Anne, St. Mary, and Portland. It's news, sports, entertainment, and tech. And now, the news. I am Sophia Lishu Pamo. Murders continue to increase in St. Anne compared to last year. Up to last week Thursday, 22 murders had been committed in St. Anne compared to 14 for the same period last year. Deputy Superintendent of Police Linton Bailey told the St. Anne Municipal Corporation Thursday that major crimes were down but not murders. Among those killed the last week were a 43-year-old U.S. citizen, Gregory McIntosh of Brooklyn, New York, who was staying with relatives in Monique. A 42-year-old watchman, Noel Williamson of Ocho Rios, killed at the hardware where he worked. A 67-year-old bus owner from Exchange, Christopher Smith, shot dead in his yard. And a 28-year-old, Tevin Pinnock, otherwise called a shatty, a laborer of St. Thomas, mobbed in Alderton after he was accused of being a goat thief. People are still talking about the huge crowd that attended the 35th staging of the St. Mary Agri Expo on Easter Monday. It was held at JP Farm Sports Complex, Anata Bay, and showcased products and the various companies and agencies across the agricultural sector. There were displays of agricultural crops and livestock, including small ruminants. Also, there were several exciting contests, including farm queen, jelly drinking, coconut husking, and grease pig. In keeping with the theme of the show, there were demonstrations of various gadgets and devices in agriculture. One of the most popular was the use of drones. Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Pernell Charles Jr., headlined guests, including several members of Parliament. The Portland police are still trying to find out who is responsible for the death of a homeless man in the parish capital, Saturday, April 15. Dead is Lee Donald of Long Bay in the parish. His body was found with wounds to the neck on the corridor of a closed store on West Street, Port Antonio. A 72-year-old Portland man has been sent to prison for sexually abusing a relative nearly 30 years ago when she was a child. He was accused of sexually assaulting his relative, first when she was 7 years old and again when she was 12 years old. On the first occasion, she had gone to stay with her grandmother when the assault took place. She is now 37. The FIFA Women's World Cup trophy touched down in Ocho Rios this week as part of its global tour. The trophy came to Jamaica ahead of the FIFA 2023 Women's World Cup tournament this summer in Australia and New Zealand. Staff and students at the school were quite enthusiastic in welcoming the team of officials traveling with the trophy through the island. Among those there were Novelet and Andrew Brown, parents of reggae girl Jody Brown. Mr. Brown showed off a framed photo collage highlighting his daughter's exploits on the football field. Jody, a valued member of the Jamaica team, is from Lime Hall in St. Anne. The global tour will see the iconic trophy being displayed in the 32 countries participating in the tournament. Cricket lovers from St. Anne and St. Mary were in contrasting moods this past weekend following different performances by their teams in the Senior Cup. St. Anne was celebrating a massive win over Westmoreland while St. Mary was reflecting on what could have been better after they lost to St. Catherine CC in that parish. Trevon Williams ended the season for St. Mary with the most runs and Dario Walker took the most wickets. St. Anne had much to celebrate as opener Damian Bryce tied the show scoring centuries in both innings. Christopher Lamont took the bowling honors helping to send St. Catherine to a first innings loss. St. Anne goes to the semi-finals this weekend with home advantage at Discovery Bay. 
With the North Coast Times News Package, I am Sophia Lishu Palmer. Until then. Information you can rely on. Please subscribe, like, and share. You can always find the latest news on our website, northcoasttimesja.com, and our Facebook page. We're also on Twitter and Instagram. 